Hello everyone, my name is Ray. I'm a nurse practitioner who specializes in cardiology, hospital-based medicine. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. On this channel, we like to talk about heart disease, prevention, and all things related to the heart. So I just wanna do a quick follow-up video. Uh, someone made a comment on a previous video that I made about aspirin. Uh, just for clarity purposes, I'm not paid by aspirin. Um, I wish I was, but uh, no, um, I'm not paid by actually any drug companies, so I'm not sponsored or anything like that. Um, all of the information that I'm, you know, giving to you guys is non-sponsored, you know, it's just stuff that uh, in my clinical practice, I believe, and I, you know, uh, practice with my patients that I see in the hospital. Um, but I just, I did just want to um, clarify with aspirin, a very important drug for people that have coronary artery disease. Uh, as a matter of fact, I didn't mention this in the original video, but Aspirin is so important that uh, when somebody's having a heart attack, or when, when you call 911 and you have EMS going out there, paramedics, EMTs, I, I was a paramedic before. I actually started my um, healthcare career in emergency medical services. Started off as an EMT and then worked my way up to paramedic, firefighter paramedic, and then ultimately nurse and then nurse practitioner. But um, when I worked in EMS, one of the first things we did when somebody, you know, called 911 complaining of chest pain is we give them 324 milligrams of aspirin. That has been the gold standard literally for decades. Um, the reason why is because it's a very potent or powerful anti-inflammatory. You know, again, somebody in a previous uh, video that I made about aspirin had talked about that, had said, you know, it's a powerful uh, anti-inflammatory and it's just reducing the inflammation. What about getting down to the root cause or the underlying cause? I 100% agree. However, if you're to the point where you're having chest pain and you're calling 911, I strongly recommend that you take the aspirin. As a matter of fact, it's such a uh, powerful recommendation. I recommend that uh, you have it at home. Uh, even if you never take aspirin, have it as a just in case. If God forbid, you know, you start having some chest pain and you're concerned that you're having a heart attack, you can actually beat the paramedics by having it, you know, right then and there. If you start having that chest pain, I would recommend taking it because it may very well save your life. So anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video to follow up on my last one regarding aspirin. Uh, make sure you check that one out about who should and shouldn't take it. And um, thanks for watching. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please make sure you do. I'll have some more content uh, coming out soon and I'll see you in the next video. God bless you.